Oi, amigos! Bem-vindos às aulas de português 1, 2, 3 e 4. I'm Miss Herman and I am here today just to give you a brief overview of what you can expect if you take Portuguese with me at Alderdice. So these are the levels that are offered. Um, sometimes we don't realize what a big part of the population actually speaks Portuguese. These are all the countries where Portuguese is spoken. We spend a lot of our focus in Brazil, but we will touch on the other countries here, just giving you an idea of why it might benefit to take this language. One of the big things that students enjoy are talking about the different festas that happen throughout the year, the parties. So one holiday is o Dia da Consciência Negra, where Brazil celebrates a cultura afro-brasileira, afro-Brazilian culture. It's a big thing there in Brazil. We've got the festas of the new year, Novo Ano. Carnival. Of course, Brazil has one of the largest celebrations of carnival in the world. And then we have the June festas, festas juninas, that happen in Brazil, usually in the Northeast. Here are my students celebrating carnival. We all made masks. And here's some photos of Brazil. I'm hoping eventually to get a group to go on a Brazil and Portugal trip so that we can use our language, but we need students to enroll in the courses so that we have enough people. This is Chapada de Manchina. We'll talk about the diverse geography in the countries where Portuguese is spoken. Here's some pictures of Portugal. Of course, we'll talk about different typical foods, authentic foods, comidas típicas. We will talk about Archie, also musica. I didn't put music in this slide, but there is a lot of music that um, is in Portuguese and very beautiful. Additionally, a lot of people aren't aware of the immense cultural diversity that you can find where Portuguese is spoken, and uh, we'll definitely touch on that in the course. By the end of level one, students will know these in addition to the cultural aspects that were previously mentioned. End of level two, students will know these items, weaving in the things that they've learned in level one. At the end of levels one and two, and in the beginning as a pre-test, students will take the multi-mode. It is a listening and reading test that's taken across the district for all languages. Level three, students will be able to speak about these items. And in level three, they will take the PPS orals. It's an oral exam where students will talk the language in different situations. At the end of level four, students will go through all the things they've learned in the first three levels and also know how to talk about these items. And there is much more than this. These are just kind of bulleted short lists. And that is my last slide. So I just want to say please join us in Portuguese class. We are really lucky to have it available in Alderdice. We're one of a few schools that offer it, and it's not something that you'll find in many high schools. So it's a really wonderful opportunity to learn a beautiful language about a beautiful culture and um, really explore this language and all of its diversity and culture. Hope to see you in class. Take care.